Hey everybody and welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to help your game and another episode of Thank You Thursday. Now last week I didn't upload, but I did however come out with a Friday short. I'm not really putting them out at any sort of a, a regular frequency. They're just kind of they're just kind of premiering as they premiere. But this week's thank you, uh, I want to say thank you to a local company, actually, that's that's in my general area. And uh, it, it comes with a story that may have some of you saying that I'm some kind of a wishy-washy psychopath. But I really think that what I've done is a controlled form of madness. It really, it borderlines on genius or crazy i'm not sure which but anyway before i tell you who this thank you thursday is about i've got to give you the details of the story so as you know if you've been following the channel which i hope you have i purchased recently the wilson staff cb forged irons and i i really love the way those irons feel the the feedback you get from the face they're great they're soft they're fully forged so i can get them adjusted and gapped the problem that I was having, and I told you about this in a previous episode, was that the shafts that came in these clubs uh, were very heavy shafts. They were on the top end of shaft weight. They were about 125 to 130 grams per shaft. They took a lot of muscle to, to move around, and it, it just really was kind of wearing me out. So what my plan was, was to take my old irons, which had a True Tipper XP85, a lightweight shaft that they don't even make anymore, to take the shafts from those irons, put them into the new irons, and I was going to re-grip because the grips, the Golf Pride CP2 wraps, had a, uh, a plastic cap on the end of it that was like a harder uh, rubber or plastic than the rest of the grip, and it was really kind of digging into the palm of my hand and, and, and cutting me and leaving like dark blood patches under my hand. It was, it was pretty bad. Uh, so that was the plan. So I went to a local golf shop and after speaking to some of the staff, it was gonna cost me quite a bit of money, even to take the old shafts out because you're pulling shafts from one set of irons, you're also pulling shafts from another set of irons and you're gonna put those in here with the ferrules and you're gonna be taking the grips off and putting new grips on. As I was discussing some of the price options and some of the different grips and out of the corner of my eye, I spotted some candy going across the rack and i thought oh man those are really shiny and really pretty they were the strixon irons now they had two sets of strixon irons and a thought that i'd been having for the previous i don't know several weeks or months even was that i'd like to to possibly go to graphite shafts now when i started golf in the 90s um Everybody called graphite shafts and irons the the old man's clubs. You know, oh, those are for old people. And let's just say graphite shafts have come a very long way. So I start pulling out a couple of these Strixon clubs, and I thought, man, these look really sweet. And I noticed that both sets had these hybrid graphite shafts in them. And I thought, wow, can I can I take these over to the GC Quad? And, and hit some of these. He's like, absolutely, go right ahead. So I pulled a blade, a bladed seven iron. I also pulled one of the, uh, the cavity backed seven irons, both players irons, both fully forged. Neither one of them is like loaded down with this super game improvement stuff that I was trying to get away from. And I gotta tell you, uh, I was pretty impressed. I was blown away. Both of these clubs felt amazing. The shafts, wow, the shafts. The shafts were so much lighter weight that you could feel the head on the end of the stick, you know? You could really have a great sense of where the club head was in space, and you could feel it load and unload almost. You could, you could sense it as you swung. I talked to the guys there a little bit more, and they're like, hey, this is really gonna reduce the shock on your hands and your wrists. You know, we can get you set up with some better grips, uh, but these graphite shafts are really gonna make a difference. It's gonna lessen your pain. It's gonna help you out quite a bit. Uh, and I said, yeah, but I mean, these clubs are probably crazy expensive. Well, let me tell you, the prices that they had on these two sets of clubs was ridiculous. It was ridiculously low. The shafts in them alone were probably worth the amount of money that they were asking for these clubs. We kind of started going around and talking about some what ifs. And he looked up what 
he could offer me for the CB Forged. And I did not go in here with the intention of doing this, but essentially I got such a good deal when I bought the Wilson CB Forged that they were able to give me in trade almost what I paid for them. And then he made me a really good deal on the two sets of irons and he waived the installation fee on the grips for both sets. Long story short, I now have two new sets of graphite shafted irons with grips and I came out cheaper than I would have had I just reshafted those clubs. Let me introduce you. So first of all, first things first, I have an approach wedge. This approach wedge goes with either set because obviously I can't play two sets at the same time. The shafts are the steel fiber shafts. They are amazing. And I think, I think what I was told is that these are the number one shaft on the Champions Tour. This is a bladed approach wedge and the new grips. Ah, I chose new grips. So these are the Tour Velvet Plus 4 midsize. This cap, it's a dream. It's so much better. It's so much better. These grips are midsize. I think they double wrapped them for me. So they're a little bit smaller than what I had because I felt like the grips that I had were just a little bit maybe oversized. The lower irons in this set, and this is the cavity set that I'm starting with, are the ZX7 from Strixon. This is the uh, pitching wedge out of the set. You can see that the sole of the club is, is not nearly as wide as a lot of the game improvement clubs. So these are still players irons and they are forged right there on the back of the hosel. Same great graphite shafts. As you move up into the set, the six iron and the five iron become the ZX5s which these are much the same model, but they're just a little bit more helpful. They're a little bit more helpful uh, in the long irons and the sole on these actually gets a little bit, a little bit wider, but still, I mean, I mean, look at that compared to a, a finger. You know what I mean? It's not much wider than my finger. And then the capper, 23 degree four iron. Hollow head design, same, Steel fiber, steel hybrid graphite shaft, all of that. That's set number one. Set number two, <laughs> the, the lower irons in this set, again, same grips, same steel fiber shafts. Uh, here's the nine iron. This is the Z965 bladed set of irons. And I'll hold up a finger here for reference. You can see it's a little bit thinner sole. These are amazing. They feel so awesome. When you move into the six and the five iron, however, you change to the Z765, which has a little bit of assistance, a little bit of a cavity on the back. And again, I'll hold up a finger to the, uh, the sole. You can see it's got that thin sole. Even the top line on this, if you look at this top line right here, even that is, is fairly thin. You know, like a, a good player's iron, you want a thinner top line, you want a thinner sole. I like the smaller, more compact heads. I don't want it to be some big hockey stick. Um, they are amazing. So I've got two complete sets of irons with the steel hybrid graphite shafts in them, and it's a progressive set, meaning you get into a little bit of cavity with the blades, and you get into a little bit more forgiving cavity on top of these cavities, and the approach wedge goes with both. The four driving iron goes with both amazing amazing deal and you may have seen it in my previous video when i did my own course i've got the strixon zx5 driver in 10 and a half degrees set to standard with a regular flex blue ventus tensile shaft loving that driver it's so much more consistent i'm getting more yardage out of it now i've got two sets of irons that i can play i can start with these and then possibly as my ball striking gets better or I feel like, you know what, I've been playing well. I, I, I need a little bit more versatility. I want to be able to work the ball a little bit more. I can move into the blades. And then if I think, oh, well, I haven't been practicing as much lately. I, I just need something to help me out a little bit. I can go back to these. And it's amazing because I actually spent less money than I would have if I had just reshafted that one set of clubs 
I, I'm, I'm blown away. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking to yourself, you're, you're a psycho. You just got those clubs. You loved them. Listen, these, this, is, this is way better. It's the deal of a century. I am absolutely thrilled with these. And the thank you goes out to Continental Golf in Raleigh, North Carolina. If you are anywhere in that region, you need to go see these guys. They are always helpful. They have great selection. They do custom fitting. They do reshaft and regripping. They've got, they've got everything you need. And if they don't have it, they'll probably order it for you. They've always been very helpful. They've always treated me really well. This company's been in business for well over 50 years. And the reason is, is because they know your name, they know your game, they remember you, and they always try to help you out. And he cut me some deals on this, and he has no idea that I have a golf channel. He wasn't doing me a favor. He, I wasn't trying to leverage it to get a deal. No, no, none of that. This was just, this is the way they do business. So if you're in the North Carolina, Eastern North Carolina area, anywhere within an hour or two hours of Raleigh, and you have golf needs, go see these guys. They are really awesome, and I am so grateful. This Thank You Thursday is dedicated to them. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be showing you some videos with both sets of the new irons and the new driver. I'll be on course. I'll be in the sim, grinding it out, working on my swing, as always. Thank you so much for tuning in. Check the description below to save yourself some money using the links, and I'll see you next time.